Welcome to Med Madness, the podcast channel where we dive into the fascinating world of medicine. Today we're discussing a crucial topic for medical students and professionals alike, syncope. Understanding syncope is essential because it can range from benign to life-threatening conditions, making accurate diagnosis and management vital. In this episode, we'll cover the definition, causes, symptoms, diagnosis and treatment of syncope, along with a real-world case study. Let's get started. Syncope, commonly known as fainting, is a transient loss of consciousness and postural tone due to a sudden decrease in blood flow to the brain, followed by a spontaneous return to baseline neurological function. The main causes of syncope can be broadly categorised into reflex syncope, orthostatic syncope and cardiac syncope. Reflex syncope includes vasovagal syncope, which is often triggered by emotional stress, pain or prolonged standing, and situational syncope, which can occur during activities like coughing, urination or swallowing. Orthostatic syncope is typically related to medications, hypervolemia or autonomic dysfunction. Cardiac syncope, on the other hand, is often due to arrhythmias or structural heart diseases. Now, let's move on to the symptoms and clinical presentation. Patients experiencing syncope may exhibit various symptoms, including dizziness, nausea, sweating, pallor, and a generalized sense of warmth before the syncopal episode. Vasovagal syncope is characterized by a prodrome of these symptoms. In contrast, cardiac syncope often occurs suddenly without warning, particularly during exertion or at rest. Understanding these differences is key to determining the underlying cause. Diagnosing syncope involves a thorough clinical evaluation, including patient history, physical examination, and diagnostic tests. Key tools include electrocardiograms, ECG, to identify arrhythmias, tilt table testing for vasovagal syncope, and carotid sinus massage for carotid hypersensitivity. Blood tests, echocardiography, and ambulatory ECG monitoring, such as Holter monitors, are also important in evaluating potential cardiac causes. Treatment for syncope varies based on its etiology. For vasovagal syncope, management includes reassurance, avoiding triggers, and using physical counterpressure maneuvers. Situational syncope may require similar approaches. Orthostatic syncope treatment focuses on adjusting medications and addressing volume status. Cardiac syncope often necessitates more intensive interventions, including medication management, electrophysiologic studies, and possibly pacemaker implantation for severe arrhythmias or conduction disorders. Lifestyle modifications, such as staying hydrated and avoiding prolonged standing, play a crucial role in prevention. A 65-year-old man presents with recurrent episodes of syncope triggered by turning his head or wearing a tight collar. His history and clinical examination suggest carotid sinus hypersensitivity. Carotid massage confirms the diagnosis, revealing an exaggerated vagal response. This patient is advised to avoid tactile stimulation of the carotid sinus, and due to the frequency of episodes, a pacemaker is implanted. This case highlights the importance of recognizing specific triggers and tailoring treatment to the individual patient. In summary, syncope is a multifaceted condition with various etiologies requiring a comprehensive approach to diagnosis and management. Early identification and appropriate treatment are crucial to prevent potential complications, especially in cases of cardiac syncope. Thank you for joining us today on Med Madness. Don't forget to engage with our pre- and post-podcast quizzes to test your understanding of syncope. Stay tuned for more insightful episodes, and as always, keep questioning and exploring the wonders of medicine.